Hello and welcome to this Astranti video. Today, we'll be looking at the subject of raising equity finance, which is when businesses raise funds through the selling of shares. But more on that in a minute. It's very important that you know about this subject, as it's something you may be examined on in your F2 or your F3 exams. This is an extract from our video on Chapter 6 of our F3 course. But, if you want to see the full video, this can be found on the Astranti website as part of our full course. So without further ado, let's jump straight in and have a look at raising equity finance. Now to introduce the idea of equity finance, we're going to use a real world example. I'm sure you're all aware of the logo that I just put on screen. That is, of course, Facebook. And they launched their IPO in 2012. By that time, they'd been around for about eight years, but by 2012 had really become the premier, the most dominant social media force on the internet. So they launched their initial public offering, as I say, in 2012. Now, an IPO is simply where a company offers its shares to investors. Now, in 2012, Facebook's profits were relatively small in the context of them being the most dominant social media company on the internet. And in 2012, they're about $205 million. But people saw huge potential in this company. And so everyone was clamoring to get their hands on Facebook's shares. In this IPO, Facebook raised $16 billion. And that placed the valuation of Facebook, the total value of their firm, at $104 billion. Now, that meant that Mark Zuckerberg, who is the founder of Facebook, was worth about $17 billion. Now, that's a not bad return, is it, for about eight years' work. I'd be quite happy with that, I think. But what we're seeing here, the reason I've introduced this is because this is an example of a company raising equity finance. Because what we've seen is that investors purchase a share. Now, why do you think the investors have purchased a share in Facebook? Well, it's done in the hope that the share price is going to rise and that the company itself is going to then deliver returns. And those returns will be in the form of regular dividend payments. So they're hoping for return in two ways, the rise in the share price and also a return in dividend payments. And as you can probably expect, the people that initially invested in Facebook did pretty well for themselves. They paid $38 per share at the time of the IPO in 2012. In 2017, those shares were worth $144 each. Now, if only we could go back in time ourselves and buy up all those shares, we'd be, we'd be doing all right for ourselves. Now, we've given you this as an example because it shows a really successful launch. But that's not to say that equity finance is always so easy. Even our television guides are littered with programs that show companies hoping for investment. I'm sure you've all seen programs such as Dragon's Den or Shark Tank. Now, what we see there is exactly the same thing. Companies hoping to raise equity finance by encouraging investors to purchase shares in their company. But that's enough of television programs. Let's get a real definition of what equity financing is. So equity finance is really the process of raising capital through the sale of shares in an enterprise. Basically, equity financing refers to the sale of an ownership interest to raise funds for business purposes. So what we're seeing on screen through sale of shares brackets ownership by investing in a company, the investors become part owners in that company. 
And so raising equity is just another name for selling shares or ownership rights in an entity. Now, what we're going to look at in a letter section is ordinary shares and preference shares because these are the two main classes of shares that are issued by entities and each one has a different characteristic which is why we're going to come to them in their own section so we know that this syllabus is about financial strategy financial management and i raised in the introduction the idea of the three key decisions we think about during financial strategy, which is, of course, the dividend decision, the investment decision, and I can, you can see the middle one on screen, the financing decision. Now, as I've already explained, part of the financing decision is a choice between equity and debt. How does a entity hope to raise these funds? Now, of course, we're going to be looking in this video at raising capital through equity so that an entity is able to finance the strategy that they've put in place now capital markets or the stock market really play an important role in raising equity finance and again we've got another section dedicated to the role of the stock market later on in this video so if you just look under equity we bring up small company and large company and we've got two examples of stock markets these are uk capital markets now the reason we have smaller companies next to the aim is because the alternative investment market is more suitable for smaller companies and that's because there are lower associated costs with joining an alternative investment market and the alternative investment market has a less strict entry criteria Larger companies, however, would much rather be listed on the London Stock Exchange. Now, these would be larger companies, and so they could be able to deal with the larger entry costs. But because of the Stock Exchange's profile, it means that companies that are listed on their shares become far more marketable, so far more valuable. So you can see the reasons why they would actually want to be listed on the London Stock Exchange. And in fact, in 2013... The London Stock Exchange saw a record number of technology companies become listed so that they could raise equity finance. And in fact, 36 of them together generated over a billion pounds in finance, which just goes to show how incredibly important the stock market is in raising finance. So we've now come to the end of today's video. And you should now have a better grasp on the concept of raising equity finance. However, this extract was only the tip of the iceberg and there's much more you'll need to know for your exams. You can find the full video on the Astranti website as part of our full course, where you can also access other videos, study texts, mocks, exam practice kits and revision notes. If you want to try some of these out, you're eligible for a free sample just by signing up to our website. If you've enjoyed this video, you should subscribe to our social media accounts. We can be found on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and of course, here on YouTube, where we upload new videos twice a week. Thanks for watching.